We're rolling here. Sit down or something. The grasslands are a tremendously fertile place. But without, without the buffalo, um, it's a different place. We're putting those animals back on the grasslands. And we were selling the meat to make ends meet. But there was no market for buffalo hides. So we said, well, let's see if we could make boots out of them. If you could make a boot out of it, rather than throwing it in the trash like everybody else, uh, that's progress. We're off to a great start. <laughs> Got good vibes about this. Okay, so yeah, I'm Colton Jones. My wife's name is Jillian. We have two boys, Barrett and Lincoln. Three dogs, Bruce, Malcolm, and Gretchen. I think we've got three cats. Ralph, Kevin, and Bandit, and an array of chickens and cows. And about a thousand buffalo, yeah. We won't go through all their names, you'll run out of film. My family and I live on the Cheyenne River Buffalo Ranch, and we raise 100% grass-fed, field-harvested buffalo. There's uh, endless seas of grass, and all those grasses and root systems have evolved to thrive off of those grazing habits of the bison and their movements. The way their hooves are beating the dirt down and breaking up the top crust of the soil. It's just a cycle that's went on for millennia. What we're trying to do by reintroducing the bison to the Great Plains is to put that missing piece back to something that's been broke for a really long time. You know, we see a change in biodiversity in the grass species. We see a change in biodiversity among bird species. All the wildlife and fauna has changed pretty dramatically over a 20 year period. You know, we have to have healthy land, healthy soils, and then that feeds the buffalo, which then in turn feeds us. And we all is old and thriving. Bringing back the keystone species, the buffalo, we really end up with a byproduct of 100% grass-fed buffalo meat. Doing good. This will probably be our last run before calving starts. We try to treat them as close to nature's intentions as possible, give them respect in life and dignity in death. We've also teamed up with Patagonia. We supply their bison jerky but not wasting any part of the animal is a big part of Wild Ideas philosophy. We started kicking around the idea of a boot for Patagonia. There was finally a batch that we had put together. We're like, man, we hope this is the batch. We hope this is the batch that comes back from Portugal in the form of a boot. The easy way is not the best way. It's very emotional. It's more than a pair of boots or shoes. My father started to make shoes with 14 years old, made by hand, and nowadays we love to try to do the best boots in the world. Our boots, it's much better than my English. E sem dúvida é para tudo. Eu sonho com botas. Gosto imenso deste produto porque vê-se na naturalidade da pele que aquilo não tem químicos, não tem plásticos, pronto, aquilo é, é muito natural. This is a boot with a long, long life. We can replace the soles one, two, three times. It's always a challenge to improve and to find the best solution. We like this, we like the big challenge. So we find the best materials, all recycled, because we can produce a very nice boot with a very good quality and respect the environment. We think that's the future. That's the big opportunity to start a new age. I think it's just cool to see a good conservation practice come to fruition and then be able to walk out in that grass where that boot started. Can you guys see the buffalo? 
I see them through the Other than the sun, that's where that boost started, is right there at that grass level. Four of them. Yeah. Four. We lost a few. We lost 96. You know, we had kids for a reason. I want them to have the option to enjoy this world out here at its fullest. That's why we go to work every day. That's why we put our work boots on is for those kids. I think we're on the right track. And if we're doing it just right, then that's leaving things better than the way you found them. A loss of grasslands is a huge tragedy, but what we're doing here is going to help. It's going to help. The hardest part is knowing that you got to put your nose to the grindstone every day and you might not see a result tomorrow or the next day. It pays off, but in the form of saving our planet, you know? What kind of cranks me up? Symbolically, metaphorically, boots are the foundation. I mean, that's how we get around here. Just to put those boots back in contact with this grass out here is, for me, pretty powerful. Hang on a second, I'm tearing up here, Christ almighty. I'm good, I got sleeves. That's what I wear sleeves for. <laughs>